In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your gimbal with a Panasonic GH4 using the Aperture DAC lens with the Speed Booster and the Sigma 18-35mm lens. You will see that this gear combination will give you the freedom to control your camera without touching it. The DAC lens regain system comes with a nice box including three items. A wireless transmitter that is capable of operating as far as 100 meters, a remote controller which can be attached to the gimbal or could be used by a second operator, an adapter that lets you use your Canon EF mount lenses on a Micro Four Thirds camera. It is also a speed booster, it means that it concentrates more light to your sensor, resulting in a better low light performance and also makes your field of view wider. Please note that the adapter doesn't communicate with the camera body as there is no electronic connection between them. It means that if you take photos, you'll have no valid information on aperture and focal length. Only ISO and shutter speeds will be shown. The adapter itself powers the motors inside the lens. This saves you battery power from the body. Switch the lens in autofocus mode, connect the wireless remote to the adapter and power it on. After that, don't change the focus by hand because the adapter calculates distances at boot up. Connect the included remote control cable from the transmitter to the camera. Pay attention while putting it in the gimbal. It is recommended to hide below the body between the upper part counterweight and the adapter's bottom, so it won't get in the way while operating the gimbal. As it is a big and front-heavy system, you have to push it back on the plate as much as you can. You'll notice that the back of the camera hits the rear motor while moving. In order to free up just enough space, you have to remove the viewfinder's rubber. Please be cautious, because if the viewfinder's glass hits the rear motor, it could accidentally scratch the surface. I bought two packs of counterweights from Gadzin.com, as one pack includes two pieces, and I need three. Try to lean the control cable as close to the camera as you can. The remote controller lets you set focus points and you can easily pull focus between them. You can also change the aperture but keep in mind that the noise caused by the lens moving motors could be picked up by your microphone. Moza made a thumb controller, which is highly recommended, as you can control the movement and tweak the gimbal settings easy. You can easily attach both controllers to your dual hand grip with the included clips. With this trick, we are still a little front-heavy, but the motors can compensate that, although tilting is limited.
If you tilt down, the counterweight in the back of the plate will block the movement. And if you tilt up, the gimbal won't let you further after a point, even if there is space. When you disassemble your system, pay attention to apply only the necessary force while the units are in the gimbal. First, pull out the remote cable, leave the other end in the transmitter, you will be easily pulling it out when it's not mounted anymore. When putting the camera out, hold it by the lens and gently pull it up while opening the quick release. The quick release system is also from Gatsun.com, it came with the gimbal. The quick release adapter screwed at number 5, which you can see on the back of the base plate. The counterweight below is in line with the quick release plate screw, but the two pieces above is using the other mounting line. To avoid damage, hold the system carefully, just above the bottom motor, and unscrew the motors from the handle. Never rotate the unit by the dual handles, as you can easily apply too much force that could break the legs mounting screw your system sits on. I wouldn't recommend total disassemble of the handle parts, as they are not so durable. It is a sacrifice to achieve the super lightweight. I'm going to show you how to store the motor system in its own case. The secret is a mid-size pillow from IKEA that fills plenty space from the case so the unit can lie in from corner to corner. This trick is needed because the frames won't allow each other to be closed into default store position. This way you don't need to touch the calibration ever again. So it is not only comfortable to leave the unit in calibrated position together with a quick release system, but it saves time and gives longer lifetime. In fact, with this pillow trick, the unit sits even tighter in its own case.